Now let's install the processing station on this machine. So I will access the shared folder where the installer is placed. Right click auto run, run as administrator. Yes. Distributed installation. Now here you need to select install workstations. Click run. OK. I accept. Next. I'll enter the username and organization. Next. And you'll be presented with all the stations available. So I will unselect all and select just the processing station. Then select next. Here you need to enter the licensing server's host name or IP address. So I'll enter Abbey LIC server. Next. Now you need to enter the account which will be used by the processing station. We have already set up a service account for this purpose. So I'm going to enter the service account here which is busyping backslash SVC Abbey PROC station and the password. Then click next and install. The installation will take a while so I'm going to fast forward this video and we'll get back to you shortly. Alright, I'll click finish and the installation is complete. The next step is to connect this processing station to the processing server. So I'll go back to the processing server and open processing server monitor. And if I expand this, I'll see stations. Just right click on stations, add stations, click custom. And I'll enter the host name of the processing station, which is Abbey PROC station. And click OK and add. Now it should start in a moment. All right, here you go. If you have a high volume, you can add more processing stations. Basically, the processing stations are responsible for processing the documents, not the processing server. The processing server's role is just to distribute the workload across the processing stations. So processing server is like the supervisor while the processing stations do the actual work. In the next video, we will see how to install and configure the project setup station.